of uh, bridging gender, gender gaps in economic activity is significant. The having women away from the labor market is definitely a toll on, on economic activity around the globe. So the World Bank actually has estimated the, the effect of having of, of these gaps, and it is estimated in the long term, I think it's around 20% of GDP. Uh, so that's an enormous amount of resources that are being, uh, that, that are not being created, let's say, economic activity that is not happening because women are not able to be allocated in the most, uh, where they would be most productive. And that's because either they don't have access to education, training, finance, labor, or are not able to stay in, in, the, in their jobs and, and have a long-term career trajectory. I mean, the, the hugest gaps are actually present in Africa. There are actually gaps, gender gaps, still present even in developed economies. The, the gaps are still there, but there, there have been substantial improvements, but there's a lot more to do in Africa for sure, particularly in bringing women into, into the labor market. Uh, there are pro uh, programs specific for Africa. Uh, there's one very interesting pr uh, program from the IFC that is called She Wins Africa that tries to um, address issues and help women entrepreneurs. I find it fascinating that, that uh, Africa has the highest en female entrepreneurship rate in the world. Um, like 25% of women are entrepreneurs. So this program tries to reach out to women that are developing startups and help them obtain investment. They map them together with investors, make them investment savvy to be able to obtain resources and make their, their businesses feasible and sustainable. When do you think, when I think that would happen? No, that I don't know, I would. <laughs> but uh, I mean, progress is being done on this front every single day. Uh, and, uh, and there are so many incentives to, to bridge this gap because as I mentioned at first, there are, the economy at a whole is losing. Not only women are losing, but the economy is losing potential because of women being outside of the, of the labor market and because they're not as active in the economy as they potentially could. When the gaps will be bridged, I hope very soon. I think that it's uh, an issue of constant work. Uh, well, I think that in, in Africa in particular, one, one particular character, ah, no, the gaps are, are larger in Africa than in the rest of the world, particularly in, in, in many issues related to financial inclusion, access to finance in, in multiple senses, access to, to mobile phones and mobile money. Uh, and, and one important aspect of Africa, which is also present in Latin America, is labor, labor informality. And uh, that is one particular characteristic, I'd say, of the labor market of, of women, in, in working women in Africa.